Okay, so it's I will uh, wish a Merry Christmas for twenty twenty three. I was going to record and publish this video after seven PM because that would be around December 25 at Google um, you know, YouTube time so when my video is uploaded it says 25 December but I think I'll make it now <laughs> um, so yes I wish everyone a Merry Christmas and uh, I hope we can think about positive things it's important to think about positive things because of all the evil and bad things that exist in reality or in the world and reality and oh you know negative things ex exist in the cosmos the universe whatever you uh so it's important to focus on in positive um things uh, one minute. Mm, I guess I gotta find the video. I don't want to. Right, tell me. Oh, I guess I will do it this way. Um, okay. <laughs> I guess I'll take this. This is all the same video, but uh, I'll put it on this. This is this is a link to a video that talks about like how. Uh, well, it's it's um it's about it's about spiritual uh, things, I would say. But they talk about like how. Um, there's something I want to, you know, we are ultimately spiritual beings. There is a material dimension to our existence, but think about non-human intelligence. Some of these intelligences are, uh, they live in the unseen realm of consciousness, the unseen realm, or some people say 5D. Oh shit, I do. Uh, we humans primarily value the third 3D reality, but uh, there is a 5D reality and some of these um, non-human intelligences might actually be like, uh, this, like they might uh, prey on negative emotions, so I feel like uh, we have to fight, or we have to we have to stay positive, or think positively, or have a high frequency <laughs> way of existence because we want to combat these uh, negative. Uh, 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 NHI, non-human intelligences. So, the message I want to promote is we are spiritual. We have a, a soul, a consciousness, and uh, yeah, you know, like imagine if you're, you know, if you think about your dog or something, I've heard this way of explaining things, but it makes sense. See, the dog, if you have a pet and a dog or a cat, well, let's think for a dog, a dog doesn't understand the human reality, you know. 
Um, and if you think about some animals, they can perceive things that we can't perceive, like in uh, the electromagnetic spectrum or whatever. So there is a, there might very well be intelligent beings that exist in realities that we cannot perceive with its, with our senses, with our five senses. But, uh, uh, you know, like, you know, they can be, you know, in the past, people call them a devil or angels, or, you know. There are these invisible entities and they can prey on your soul, on your emotions. They might consider it food, for instance. <laughs> uh, you know, like in that video I linked, you know, they might just be animals who, who, who prey on negative emotions because emotions create a lot of energy. Uh, so, just an idea. And there's another video, like this one. Where Yes, I do have a lot of problems with my ego. I have ego problems. And what about this video I liked is like how, you know, when I was younger or naive or whatever, you're so open to the world, but then the people respond negatively, negatively to it. And then you withdraw into yourself and how you become a smaller person. Uh, I have a lot of ego problems. I have a lot of ego problems. I wasn't always like that. I used to be a very spiritual person. Uh, but, uh, you know, being on social media and stuff, you know, being exposed to a lot of information, uh, you know, it's the world that we live in right now is very narcissistic, very 3D focused. It's all about the very egocentric, and I think this is a disease. That's a, it's a, it's a, um, it's the, it's the matrix, really. It's really the matrix, and, and that maybe evil people, bad people, want us, us to live in this type of world, so they can deprive us our power as uh, spiritual beings. We're not really stuck in, in this 3D way of thinking. So, um, yes, I think it's important for us to think positively and, uh, you know, don't let the ego and the negative three-dimensional way of thinking and the, you know, and the possibly, like, you know, and then the, and the, you know, they might very well be these negative beings, intelligences or agents of consciousness that are trying to prey on your soul. <laughs> So it's important to fight against that, or stay positive, or pray, or meditate, or do so, or, or do positive things to battle that. So I wish everyone a Merry Christmas, and I think it's important to think positively and things like that.